Hello friends, this is Andiban here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have learned all about user-defined and library functions in Python with examples. Today, we are going to explore the concept of modules and libraries in Python in a great details with examples. Stay with me till the end because today's topic is going to be a really crucial one and also by the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of modules and libraries and surely you will be able to make use of them in your own code. Also, you will learn how to create your own module in Python. So, without any further ado, let's get started. A module in Python is nothing but a file containing reusable code like functions, classes and variables. It's like having a toolkit for your programs where you can have a set of utility functions, classes and variables that you can reuse wherever you want. So let's see it in action. First, let's see how a module work in our code. For that, we will start with creating a module on our own. So to create our module, first we will create a new file here. Let's name it as mymodule.py. And now we will create a simple function, for example, a greet function like this def greet inside parenthesis name colon and in the next line print hello comma plus name. We have already learned how to create your own function in Python in our previous video. If you haven't watched it, I do recommend to check that out to know more about functions. Now that we have created this file, we can use it as a module in some other file. So to use this module in our main code, we just have to import it using the import keyword followed by the module name. So first we will move to our main file and we'll import the module that we have created like this. Import my module and then we can use the greet function from this module like this my module dot greet and inside parenthesis I'm passing my name that is Sandiban as an argument and as you can see it is printing hello Sandiban so basically when we import the module using the import statement the function or classes or variables inside it will become available in the current file and we can access it through the module reference. So similar way when we imported my module here using the my module as reference we can access all the elements available inside it in this case the grid function. Now let's see how we can import and use a variable declared inside a module. For that we will create a variable inside my module. In this example, I am creating a person dictionary like this person equals inside curly braces first name colon sandipan comma last name colon das comma age colon 23 comma Profession colon software developer. Now, if we want, we can use this person dictionary in our main code. So, in the main file, as my module is already declared, we can access the person variable through my module like this print my module dot person. So it is printing the person dictionary as expected. We can also do some operation with the variables imported. So instead of printing the dictionary directly, we can print something else like this. Print my module dot person and inside square bracket first name plus then inside quotation is a then again plus my module dot 
person and inside square brackets profession. So now if we run it, it is printing Sandeepan is a software developer. So you can see we can make our code more cleaner, simple through this approach and we can reuse our functions not only in the same file but also in other files as well. It increases the modularity of program which is one of the best practices of programming. Here in this example you can also see we are using the module name same as the actual name of the file that is my module. But we can also rename the module in our program whatever we like using the as keyword. So for example instead of every time referring to the module name as my module if we want to give it a name as mutils for example we have to do it in the import statement like this import my module as mutils sometimes this is called alias so here mutils is nothing but a alias of my module but now we cannot call the function or variables using the name my modules we have to refer the alias that is mutils to call the functions or variables like this Now we know how to create our own module, let's learn about some of the built-in modules in Python. In Python, we have several built-in modules for different purposes which we can import and use whenever we like. One of the famous and most used modules is math module. We have a plenty of mathematical function inside this module which we can use in our program anytime. So first, let's import it in our program. import math now for example if we want to find the square root of a number we can do it using a predefined function squared which is present inside the math module so it will look something like this print math dot squared and then we have to pass the number as an argument for example 9 and it is printing 3 as expected. Do try with different values and check what result it will print. We can also calculate the power of a particular number raised by some given number like this. Print math dot pow and inside parenthesis 3 comma 2. So it is printing the 3 raised to the power 2 that is 9. Also we can use the value of pi taking from the math module like this print math dot pi. So it is printing the value of pi. This is an example of variable inside a module. Another such interesting module is the platform module so let's import it import platform as plf so here i have given an alias plf we can use it to print the information related to the current platform or system we are using some examples are print plf dot system so it is printing the current system I am working on that is Linux. Also, we can see the processor information like this print plf dot processor. So it is printing the proper information. Isn't it cool? So here's an exercise for you create your own module and create some calculation functions inside it like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. and try to use those function in some other python file by importing it. Do it by yourself and let me know in the comment section the solution or any doubt if you have. Now let's talk about libraries. 
So libraries provide superpower to the modularity principle in Python. They are basically collections of modules designed to tackle a set of specific tasks. We can consider it as a multiple toolkits made for more specialized jobs. The core functionality of libraries and modules are similar. You can think of it as a super set of modules. We have plenty of libraries in Python. Let's see some of the examples. One of the most popular libraries in Python is Pandas. This is a machine learning library in Python that provides data structure of high level and a wide variety of tools for data analysis. There are many more libraries. Those are hugely used in the fields of machine learning and data science, such as NumPy, SciPy, Scikit-Learn, TensorFlow, etc. Then we have Flask, using which we can build web-based microservices. Chickinter, using which we can build GUI-based applications. Pygame, a library designed for building video games, etc. If you want to explore these interesting libraries and build many amazing projects using it, please comment down below. I will make a new series on that. So that covers all about libraries and modules in Python. But if you missed any of the points out, make sure to rewatch it, and it will definitely be cleared. But if you still have any doubt, feel free to comment down below. Hope you find this video helpful. If so, give a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can create more such helpful contents for you. Hope to see you in my next videos. Till then, goodbye.